Mangala Sutta. Yam Mangalam Dwada Sahi Jinti Yeng Su Sadiwaka Sotanam Nadhi Gachanti Atateng Sancha Mangalam Men together with deities tried to find out for twelve years what blessing was. But they could not find out the blessings which number thirty-eight that are the cause of happiness. Desi dam dewa dewi na sabba papa wina sanang sabba loka hidathaya mangalam tam banamahe O good people, let us recite those blessings which were taught by the deity of the deities, the Buddha, for the benefit of beings and which destroy all evil. Evam visudam egam samayam bhagava savatiyam viharadi jedavane anatha bindigasa arame atha kho anyatara devada abhikandaya radiya Abhikanta wana kevala kabbang jeta wanang obha sitwa ye na bhagava te nu basangami upasangami dwa bhagavantang abhiva ditwa eka mantang athasi eka mantang tita kho sa devada Bhagavan dang gathaya ajhabasi. Thus have I heard. At one time, the Blessed One was dwelling at the monastery of Anatta Pendika in Jeta's Grove near the city of Savati. Then a certain deity in the late hours of the night with surpassing splendor having illuminated the entire Jeta's grove, came to the Blessed One. Drawing near, the deity respectfully paid homage to the Blessed One and stood at a suitable place. Standing there, the deity addressed the Blessed One in verse. Bahu Deva Manusa Cha Mangalani Achindayung Agangka Mana Sutanang Bruhi Mangala Muttamang Many deities and men, desiring what is good, have pondered upon just what blessings were. Pray tell me what the highest blessing is. Asewana cha balanang pandita nang cha sewana puja cha puja neyanang etam mangala mudamang Not to associate with fools, to associate with the wise, and to honor those who are worthy of honor. This is the highest blessing. Padi rupa desa wa so cha pubbe cha gata punyata atta sama bani di cha e dam mangala mutamang. To live in a suitable place, to have done meritorious deeds in the past, and to keep one's mind and body in a proper way. This is the highest blessing. Bahu sajanja sipanja vinayoja susekito subha sita ja yavaja edam mangala muddamang. To have much learning, to be skilled in crafts, to be well trained in moral conduct, and to have speech that is well spoken. This is the highest blessing. 
Madabitu upatanang putta darasa sangho. Anakula ca kamanda etam mangala muttamang. Caring for one's mother and father, supporting one's spouse and children, and having work that causes no confusion. This is the highest blessing. Dhananja dhamma chariyaja nyadaka nanja sangaho anna vajani kamani etam mangala muddhamam Giving, practice of what is good, support of one's relatives and blameless actions. This is the highest blessing. Aradi viradi baba majja pana ca sanyamo appama doja dhammesu etam mangala muttamam Abstention from evil in mind. Abstention from evil in body and speech. Abstention from intoxicants and non-negligence in meritorious acts. This is the highest blessing. Karavoja niwadoja santuti ca kadanyuta kalena dhammasavanam etam mangala muddhamam Respectfulness Humbleness, contentment, gratitude, and listening to the Dhamma on suitable occasions. This is the highest blessing. Khandija sovaca sada samana nanja dasana kalena dhamma sakacha etam mangala mutamam. Patience, obedience, meeting those who have calmed the mental defilements and discussing the Dhamma on suitable occasions. This is the highest blessing. Taboja Brahma Jariyanja Ariya Sachana Dasana Nibana Sachi Kiriyaja Etam Mangala Muttamam Practice that consumes evil states, a noble life, seeing the noble truths and realization of Nibbana. This is the highest blessing. Puttasa loka dhammehi chaitang yasa na kambadi asokang virajang khemang Edam mangala muttamam. The mind of a person, an arahant, who is confronted with worldly conditions, does not flutter, is sorrowless, stainless, and secure. This is the highest blessing. Eda disani katwana. Sabata ma parajita, sabata suttenga chandi, dante sam mangala mudamam. Having fulfilled such things as these, beings are invincible everywhere and gain happiness everywhere. That is the highest blessing for them.